right, so welcome back to Studio 39, a.k.a. The Bear Cave. I'm Rob Odie. we got another good one, just like we do every time. we got another young man with another story to share. But before we get into that, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. Please continue to share on all your social media so we can continue to grow this thing. We're doing real big things. We're getting these student athletes the looks they deserve, but I know they, they could use more. So now that that's out the way, man, let's have some fun. Tell us who you are, where you're from. We'll have some good conversations. Uh, my name is Adam Watson. I'm a linebacker from Newburgh, Indiana. I go to Castle High School, 5'10", 200. 5'10", 200, class of what? Uh, class of 2022. So class of 22. So did you have a football season this year? Yes, sir. How'd that go for you? For me personally, it went pretty well. Uh, it was rough, though. Yeah. Uh, popped, a, popped a hamstring uh, in the preseason conditioning. Then uh, about halfway through the season, broke my hand, played with the club half the season. And then uh turned out I was playing on a torn labrum for about a year. Oh, wow. So it was, uh, it was rough. We made it through and had a really good season as a team and for me individually. That's cool, man. So individually, how were you uh, – how would you say your stats were, give or take? Uh, it was like 89 total tackles, I think 35 maybe solo, and uh, a sack. Okay, so a pretty solid season out of how many games? Ten? Uh, Twelve total. We went pretty deep in the playoffs. Okay, cool, 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 man. So that's awesome. So thankfully you were fortunate enough to, to put some pads on, man, because, you know, I talk to a lot of kids yeah. still, you know, waiting for a spring season with their fingers crossed. So, uh, you know, it's definitely a blessing that you got to go out there and, and do what you enjoy doing. But um, so let's take that, right? And let's think about if I were to talk to any of your coaches, right, whether that be your – your school coaching staff, you know, any, you know, coordinators or trainers that you work with, uh, anybody that's in your corner, you know, helping you perfect your craft, what would they say are some of your biggest strengths that really make you stand out compared to the guy beside you? Uh, my biggest strengths really are my toughness, obviously, and then also my drive and pursuit and my desire to get better. Okay. Uh, in practices especially uh whenever i do make a mistake i'm very quick to fix it and the coaches really highlight that and i feel like that's one of my biggest strengths that's awesome man so uh let's take that right let's flip it and think about the season that you just had right so we know what your strengths are what would you say are some of the things you know that you recognize that you know you can get bigger better stronger faster at um coming out of this season preparing for next year so what are your off-season plans what are your focus areas and specifically what are your plans of attack to really you know drill down and, and get bigger better stronger faster in those particular areas uh the biggest thing for me right now uh aside from getting healthy it, it'd be uh speed speed's a big one uh i'm already fairly fast but i feel like to get to that next level speed is going to be speed and footwork agility all that is going to be the biggest biggest step sure but uh i was playing a little bit different than i did my sophomore year uh different position okay uh, whereas my sophomore year i played a lot out of the box on displaced receivers uh this past year and next year i'm going to be in the box playing a lot of run so i feel like uh more reps and just focusing in on keys is going to be a big one as well Okay. So what, uh, what are your plans during this all season? Do you plan on attending any camps, combine showcases? Are you working with a, you know, a trainer, any of that good stuff? As of right now, no, but, uh, I'm going to be in the gym doing a lot of, a lot of leg work starting off because I, I just got shoulder surgery. So, sure. uh, then after that, I'm hoping to play baseball, but if I don't, it's going to be a lot of, uh, a lot of different stuff to stay in shape, going to the field a lot, flipping tires, dragging tires, working on speed, a lot of that stuff. Cool, man. Um, and you said what state are you in? Uh, Indiana. Indiana. Cool, man. So not too far from you, um, you know, Fist Football Academy. Uh, you know, I know they focus on the O-line, D-line, but, you know, they might be, a, you know, somebody that you could reach out to and, you know, maybe partner up with even virtually, you know, um, just to kind of, have somebody else in your corner and help you know perfect your craft a little bit better just figure out throw that out there because i know they got a big showcase out in uh 
Wisconsin coming up in February. So um, just an opportunity, right? But nonetheless, man, let's uh, let's talk about how the classroom's treating you, or specifically, how are you treating the classroom? Uh, I've got about a three point eight five GPA out of four point okay. and uh, taking a lot of AP and honors classes, and I'm doing fairly well. Yeah, you know, three point eight five. That you know, that's fairly well, right? You know, there's not there's not much room to go up, but uh, you know, certainly you can get there. So, great job in the classroom, man. So. How's your recruiting process? What's that looking like? You have schools reaching out? Any of that good stuff not yet? Not much. A uh, couple little D3 schools, but other than that, not much. Sending out a bunch of emails, uh, starting to use Twitter a little bit. Yep, Twitter's going to become your best friend uh, throughout yep. your recruiting process. Um, you know, and, and just be very open-minded, you know, whether it's D3, D2, D1, NAIA, you know, whatever the opportunities that, that come along, you know, just be open-minded. Think of it as a big job interview, right? So when you talk to those coaches and you have those conversations, you know, they're, they're conversating to learn a little bit about you. But on the flip side, you're doing the same thing, right? You want to know a little bit more about their program, you know, because in the event that they, they give you an you know, opportunity to play for them, you want to make sure that it's, uh, you know, the right fit for you. So most definitely, you know, be open-minded, be willing to take risk, you know, and, if you get an offer to D3, you know, don't frown upon it. You know, you still get a free education or, you know, a partially paid for education doing something that, you know, you enjoy doing. So um, just be open minded when it comes to your recruiting process. But, yeah, like you said, um, you know, most definitely stay active on Twitter because Twitter seems to be, you know, where all the recruiting process, you know, really takes place. Right. You know, the coaches are, you know, on there pretty heavy. A lot of eyes are on Twitter. Um, that just seems to be, you know, the capital, per se, for, for high school recruiting based on any sport, right? So uh, definitely do that, you know, and then anytime that you're working out, you know, and you're working, uh, you're flipping tires and you're doing, you know, skill position drills and things like that, take take videos and, and put that on on your Twitter, send that out to, to the coaches uh, because that's things that, that are really going to, you know, make you excel, especially in times like we're living in right now where it's harder to get in front of these coaches, right? So, you know, anything that you can do to, to get an eye on you, is going to be a positive, right? So with that being said, man, mm -hmm. let's uh, let's transition away from the whole process of you being a, a student athlete, because obviously, you know, you, you're a talented, you know, strong hearted young man. But uh, who are you outside of the game? Right. So what do you enjoy doing outside of playing sports, not just football, but sports in general? What do you do personally? You know, what are you involved with all that good stuff? Who are you as a person? Uh, you know, I love spending time with family and friends, obviously. Uh, I like hunting and fishing, do that a lot. Uh, I'm always in the gym doing that, you know. It's it's about it, really. Okay, so hunting, fishing, and gym time, right? Oh, yeah. And then sprinkling a little bit of family and friends. Good deal, man. So, look, uh, we've been chatting for a little while. We're pretty tight on our time, so I'm just going to close it out with the same – same question that I do every single time. And if you've watched a video all the way through to the end, you know, it's coming. And that question is what motivates and what drives you to want to wake up tomorrow and be that much more successful than you were today? You know, I love being part of something that's bigger than myself. And that feeling that I get when I know that I didn't let the person next to me down, that's what drives me to be better is that's awesome. the camaraderie and team. That's that that's that's well put, my man. So look, man, I wish you nothing but the best. Hopefully we get to stay in contact and we can run this back throughout your career. You know, I'm certainly confident that uh the, the future is very bright and I think more blessings are gonna come your way. Uh so just be patient, you know, be be open minded and, and really focus on your craft, right? And for the viewers sure. out there, please hit that subscribe button. Please continue to share on all your social media so we can continue to get stories like this out there so we can get this young man and, and all the student athletes that we have on the show you know, the eyes that they truly deserve. So with that, man, I'm Rob Odie. This has been another episode of Spotlight 39. Until then, I'll chat with you.